Working in confined spaces can be very dangerous. We've taken all the necessary precautions to do what you're about to see. Do not try this at home. We're in San Jose Creek. This is site uh, SJ1 of our Goleta Stream Team project. Uh, several months ago, our volunteers were out here um, at exactly this location. This is a conductivity meter. It's essentially measuring salinity. And this being a freshwater stream, we would expect it to be pretty fresh, right? Well, our volunteers were out, and the measurement they collected, um, this, the, the state water quality objective is around is three, three millisiemens. This stream is usually somewhere between one and a half to two. And you can see right now, it's a similar condition as when our volunteers were here. It's at about 10. Okay, so that's three times above the, the limit. So, we're gonna walk upstream and see if we can figure out what's causing this increase in salinity. So here I'm gonna get a sample from this pipe and we'll take a measurement and I can show you where that's at. It takes a second to stabilize here. I don't know if you can make that out. But we're at 19.53, 19.63 and uh, So remember I said the state standard was three. And now we're gonna get an upstream measurement. We're basically at 1.94. So the pipe is around 19, 18. We're at 1.9 upstream. Okay, so we didn't actually know that this pipe was gonna be flowing when we came out to, to do this today. Um, we, we basically just got lucky. Um, and that's how this works. This is an intermittent discharge, and a lot of these things we try to monitor, it's hard to be here when it's actually happening. It's not like they send us a schedule and they say, we're gonna be discharging, you know, come out and sample it, please. So um, this is one way we're gonna try to address this problem. Today we're gonna be installing uh, a salinity logger up inside the pipe. And what this does is it basically takes a salinity measurement every five minutes. We're gonna leave it here for uh, several weeks. And when we come back, we upload the data. Hopefully what we're gonna get is a nice line graph that shows us each occurrence that, in this case, an illegal discharge has occurred. You ready, Mike? We're ready. It's deep now? No, the, I mean the water, you know. Channel Keeper notified the city of Goleta uh, when we originally found this discharge. The city um, was very helpful in actually identifying the source of the discharge, the, the company that was um, producing the waste. Now, as it turns out, the state ordered this company to cease its discharge over two years ago, but unfortunately, they failed to follow up. So now the city has issued the company a new deadline, and we're installing this sensor to basically ensure that the city and or Channel Keeper have the data that we need to enforce these violations if the deadline is not met. We're just gonna do one more thing while we're here. We just finished installing the sensor. I'm gonna fill up a bottle that we're gonna send to a lab and analyze for metals. We're doing this because the particular uh, process that this business has been doing, it's been discharging zinc and copper, um, which are both toxic in the aquatic ecosystems. Um, we've had a few samples before of this discharge and each time we've sent it to the lab, um, the results have exceeded all the state limits for those metals. They're in toxic concentration. So, um, it's been about a week. And this thing's been logging data and we're about to get some, some rain. Uh, a little worried that we don't want this thing to get trashed to kind of jam up on it. And, uh, we don't want to lose it, so I think we're going to pull it out through this storm and then we'll have to come back. But it gives us a chance to uh, check out the data. Here we 
we are back in the office. Um, you can see we've connected the sensor uh, to the computer and we just plotted the output. And you can see that um, it did a pretty good job at detecting discharges. It looks like about every 12 hours um, there's been a discharge. Um, it goes from zero uh, millisiemens up to about 20 millisiemens. Remember the standard's at three. So we're exceeding the water quality standard. Um, it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, um, eight times just in one week. So I'd say uh, this was a pretty successful experiment. Um, the equipment worked uh, like we were hoping, and now we've got some um, some evidence and some information that we can use to make sure that uh, if we need to enforce these Clean Water, Clean Water Act violations, we can. So, mission accomplished.